you stepping into your light is you literally knowing your inner hardest in, more intimate truth of yourself of what you want of the truth of this realm the truth of the world claiming your truth and when you are walking that truth and you are stepping more and more into your truth and owning it and with every little thing you're doing you are literally weaving that truth for yourself you're telling your body you're telling yourself you're telling your reality you're telling the universe telling spirit whatever it is because that's how you're showing up that all the older timelines all the older realities that were not of support that were that got created or got birthed from a seed or a thread from that false grid so they were based on shadow, they were based on pretense, they were based on ego and based on whatever you want to call it there. They were based on a lie. They were based on a deception because it's not true. It's not the truth. All of them start dissolving one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. <laughs> and that when you call that in, you have a new reflection come into your world that could be someone that has succeeded you might miss that the fact that this new reflection came in of that person that is has an upgraded business has an upgraded relationship with their money and with career might you might miss that actually that is the reflection that you have been calling in for because it's new and if you have such those very strong codes that want to keep you in your shadow an example for that, why? Why do you think like you're okay with this? Because all these different wounds inside you, all these different codes that tell you, stay in the shadow. Don't be seen. Don't, you're not worthy. You're not, you're not, you're nothing. Whatever it is that that voice inside you tells you to be okay with that reality that you know deep down is not what you want for yourself. Then what happens when you see that reflection, those codes, those old programs might unconsciously seek in and might not allow you to see that new reflection as it's, it was an opportunity that you called in into your life. What instead you might see it as is project out your own pains, your own distortions. Might be, and just here again, going back to the example of career, it could be that you start maybe comparing. You start getting... You feel envy or you feel like you compare like oh look at this person what about my life it's miserable look at what i'm doing da, da, da. or uh, that reflection that came to you instead of actually saying it's coming to me to allow me it's, it's actually there to support me rise and step more into my light the shadow takes over and you stay in that limited frame that actually the one that you were used to so that's why it's very important, as I was saying, that a lot of inner inquiry to notice, know thyself, know so much your program. But the thing is, is that even though you say you know, there's deeper layers, especially as you're stepping and recoding, there's deeper and deeper layers that are going to appear and come through. And stepping into your light, that was the example of the career, but it's literally you stepping into that pure self-love that pure self-care that pure self-ownership that pure self-respect that knowing yourself so much at the core that you know that you are worthy of what is ahead you are worthy of what you are calling in for you know it deep down because it is you know that it is your gift it is your divine gift but we've been so programmed just by how the world is. Again, here, we don't want to go into blaming our parents or whatever, whatever. There could be characters that were involved in bringing in some trauma to us or something like that. But I'm saying as a collective, just being born in that false matrix and that false grid. The whole operating system that we're in is just infiltrated. It's, it's, it's working on a complete false pretense. It's haywired. So because of that, you don't have, you were not born and living and growing up feeling like you are worthy and you are, <laughs> you are, it's your divine gift to be stepping into your light. But instead, we're so much more comfortable with being in our shadow, 